What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. I've been getting a lot of questions about my quail lately, so I thought I'd come out here and talk to you a little bit about them. It's actually starting to rain on me right now. Um, but I've been getting questions about what's, what's the number one uh, thing about quail that you don't like. Um, other than the fact that they waste a lot of their food, is that they attract a lot of flies. But uh, I have been, I did put one out here that I got at a local store uh, to try to keep the flies down and it is, is it's actually working really really well I'll show it to you guys show you the stuff and everything uh, but then we'll talk about the quail I'll show them to you and I'm also going to go in and I'm going to pickle some quail eggs for you guys in this video i um, say so stay tuned for the pickled quail eggs now they won't be done for you know a week or two they gotta they gotta stay in there pickling for a while but we'll go in there and we'll boil the eggs and and we'll do all the all the stuff in the cans and pickle them um, but check this out I bought Let's see here it's called a it's called a, a milk a milk jug fly trap and let's see right there and all it is is you put this little piece of you get a milk jug or tea jug whatever and you just set this right on top of there you fill it up with water and then you put one of these packs and all it is is a this pack of tracks it, it stinks really bad it attracts the flies and uh, that's all it is and that they fly in there and they can't get out i mean so it's killed it's a simple fly trap um, that and I actually got another one to set up in here. Um, I want to pour this out to show you just how many flies I got in here. And this has probably been out here for about three or four days now, and it's caught quite a bit. I know there's other channels out there showing them green ones. They look like they work really well too. Um, but this one, um, I didn't think it was working, but then when I picked it up, it started, there's a bunch of flies in there. So let's pour it out and uh, just see if there's how many are in there. We'll walk over here. We won't put it by there. That way it doesn't attract them even more. Got a light rain coming on me. The pigs are underneath their little shade over there. They don't need it now, though. I'm telling you, here in Oklahoma, it's just been raining unbelievably crazy. All right, let's check this out. I don't know. That's a lot of flies. I mean, they're just all bunched in there. Look, the flies even going on top of it now. So this definitely works, and you could just set it up on something, set it on the ground, just wherever, um, wherever the flies are at. Um, so if I do, if I could find an Amazon link to, it, I'll put down below if that's something you're interested in. But it's really easy to to put, the really easy to use and put in in here. And I'll, I'm going to go fill this up with water here in a little bit, but I'll show you putting the the stuff in this one that's setting it up. All you do is put it down in there. I mean, it's so simple to use. I'm gonna let it dissolve for a second, then I'm just gonna shake it up. There it goes, starting to dissolve now. So give it a good shake, shakeroo. It's ready to go. There we go, fly traps ready to go. And for this particular one, I'm just gonna set it right up here on top of the top of the quail cage. And then basically the number one thing to keep the flies down as much as possible is keep, keep the, uh, the feed cleaned up and also keep their cages clean. If you keep the cages down, the stink down, uh, then you won't, have, you won't have that bad of a fly problem. But once you let your cages get uh, build up for you know several days, maybe you, you only do it once a week, uh, the stink starts coming and the fly it attracts the flies for sure. Uh, but let's get some of these quail eggs out. Um, I'm going to get the rest of them out because I got like, like 25 or 30 in the house that we're going to hard boil, then we're going to pickle, and I'll get the rest that they lay today, tonight, and we'll do the same with those. They're laying really good right now. There's three. And there's only three hens in there. Those are my males, so there better not be any eggs in there. And I got three. I got three hens in here, and there's two eggs, so two of them laid. There's five more. Let's see if they laid any. Yep, there's one over there. Probably can't see it. And I just put, these are two young uh, hens I put in with the mature male. So maybe they'll start laying pretty soon. All right, I got the, I got the uh, fly trap set up. Like I said before, if you're interested in that little simple fly trap, uh, I'll try to find it on Amazon, put a link down below. Works pretty good, I guess. Uh, now I'm gonna go in the house and uh, we're gonna start pickling some eggs. It's starting to pour down out here, so I'm gonna get out of here. 
Okay, so we're back at the house. I spared you the time of boiling the water. Didn't want to show that part. I got the eggs in there. We're gonna wait three minutes, pull them out, put them in some ice water, and then we're gonna start. We're gonna start peeling these. I'll show you the process, a little bit of it. Um, peeling eggs isn't that entertaining, but I'll show you just a little bit of it. Um, quail eggs are really, really hard to peel, um, so we'll try to. We'll, I'll do my best. I'll show you guys um, some. Like I said, um, I got I got the seasoning and stuff that I need. Make sure you get the canning, pickling salt, um, and I got some. I'm doing a Cajun mix, and I'll show you guys all this is what I got going on here in a little bit. And I don't know if I said this before, this is the first time I've ever pickled quail eggs. Um, so hopefully it turned out well. You won't get to see me actually eating the quail eggs today because you let them set for a couple weeks. Um, get the flavor down really well. Um, but you can see they're already starting to float. Um, I think they're gonna turn out great. Okay, so we got all the quail eggs uh, peeled. With, thanks to Hayden, Hayden did like half of them. After I showed her how you gotta peel a little membrane off there and they peel a lot easier, don't they? Yeah. She's like, these smell awesome. I wanna try one before you put it in the vinegar. So she's in it. She's never had a quail egg, so she's gonna try one. What are you doing, cutting it in half? You gonna put a little salt on it? Yeah. That's good. Pretty good? Yep. Oh yeah. Tastes like a chicken egg. Yep. All right, let's count these. Hayden, let's put them in our in our jars. Right, we got these little jars. Hayden was making her uh, her apple pies and stuff in. We're gonna do some of these. That way we can give some to my father-in-law, maybe someone else. But we don't have a whole lot right now. We're gonna put ten in, ten eggs in each one, and then we'll go from there. Five. Eggs. We're putting other stuff in there. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a garlic clove in there also. I can only fit this many. How many is that? That should be ten. Or ten in there. That's all we're gonna do is ten. Okay, here's my white vinegar mix. Um, I probably won't put the recipe on this. You guys can just kind of Google one or whatever. Um, so we'll, I've never tried this recipe, so I don't want to say, say hey, go try this. It's awesome. So here we go. Okay guys, we got done. Uh, we got three jars with 10, 10, and eight. So we had 28 eggs minus the one she ate. Was it good? Yeah. Uh, so we had 29 eggs all together. They actually peeled, per I mean, as good as you could expect for quail eggs. Uh, so we boiled them, boiled them for three minutes, took them out, put them in ice water, let them chill for, I don't know, five, 10 minutes while I was prepping, prepping the um, actual uh, pickling sauce. And so in that time we start peeling them. I showed her how to get the membrane off and it was a lot easier. So we're going to put these in the refrigerator for, I don't know, maybe a week, week, uh, week and a half, and uh, they'll be perfect. Um, the longer you let them set, the better, uh, better they get. So uh, once, we, once we tear into these, I will make a video on that and tell you guys how they taste. Um, it's a pretty simple little recipe, and I'll go over that if it's any good. Now, if it sucks, I'll tell you if it sucks, and I won't give you the recipe at all. Y'all, hey, uh, Hayden wants to show you the little cheesecake in a jar she made. Oh, what do you got there, sis? Cheesecake. In a jar. Yep. Looks pretty good. 
It actually, it's really good. I hope we had one for di after dinner. Mm -hmm. What else did you make? I made some apple and cherry pie. You gonna make a er, video? You need to make speech. a video sometime on that. Yeah. Pretty easy. And all the all is pretty simple, wasn't it? Yep. Okay, guys. If I didn't give her a shout out on her channel, she'd be disappointed because she helped a lot. She deserves it, don't you, Hayden? Yep. She she peeled just me eggs. I did. She loves doing this stuff with me. So go over there and check out Hayden Riley. She'd really like it. And give that thumbs up to you guys. Thanks so much for watching this channel. We greatly appreciate it. Um, all the support you guys show us is awesome. So if you guys get a chance, smash that like button for me if you would. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to mine. Go subscribe to Hayden Riley. She's almost to 1,000 subs. She's got like, what, 890, 880? 870. She's got 870. Can you guys get her to 1,000? I bet you can. Thanks, guys.